Google Sites versus Squarespace, which is the best website builder? Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a comparison between Google Sites and Squarespace and which one is the better website builder. And I must say, one wins by a landslide. So let's not waste any time and get into it. Now you guys can see over here is our basic Google Sites dashboard and you can see I've created a bunch of sites using Google Sites as well. And over here we have our Squarespace homepage and we're just going to click on get started and I'm going to show you guys the dashboard for Squarespace. So there's this empty dashboard on Squarespace where you can start selecting your templates and whatnot. Now there is a very, very stark difference between Google Sites and Squarespace. Now Google Sites is basically a complementary website developer. There isn't a large focus by Google to create a website developer that is outstanding, that is something that has never been seen before or anything outrageous like that. They just have this very basic looking website developer and you can see there are only a few templates available. I could count them on my hands. There are only a handful and that's around it. These are just the basic templates and you can edit these or start from scratch if you want. And it provides decent customization within the templates. I'm not going to be a negative Nancy and say it's all bad. I think you can create a decent website using Google Sites. But now if we take a look at Squarespace over here, it's a paid program, but you can see where the money goes. Now, you can't use Squarespace for free. They don't provide any free version, but if you pay for it, you actually get your money's worth. You can see there are so many different templates on Squarespace. And there are categories within templates. So let's say we're making a restaurant website. So it's it's supposed to be on food. And you can see there are so many different restaurant templates that you can choose from. And this is a very great option given by Squarespace. So you can just select the industry that you're working in or whatever website that you're planning to create and you can find a template according to your needs. So if we were to say we're creating this food or restaurant based website, we can just select any theme that we like. So I'm just going to select this one. I like this and I'm just going to open the template and start editing it on Squarespace and you can see the customization within Squarespace is a lot more prevalent than Google Sites. Google Sites does allow you to customize some stuff but sometimes it can seem like it's a bit less or it, it could have been improved in certain situations. Now over here you can just skip this or you can add your site name. So. Let's just say our name is Jane's Pub. And now you can see over here, you have your website name at the center. You have a general welcome dashboard. You have a general information tab below it. We have a contact location, our timings. Below that, we have a image carousel. And after that, we have a menu. Now we can edit these and remove any of the sections that we dislike so if you don't want to display your menu you can remove that like this so if i want to remove this i can just click on this and we can just remove this section and that's it our section has been removed i'm gonna undo this because i actually like that menu section now if you want to change the template if you don't like it you can change it from the left side over here you can also get analytics and marketing um, updates on your website using squarespace now going back to google sites well you can see there are only a handful of templates to choose from but we're going to do our best and i'm just going to select this template over here now you can see the template on google sites has loaded and it's a decent template. I'm not going to say it's, it's bad. It's good. It's all right. But there are obviously things that can be improved. And that's the issue with Google Sites. There is no improvement. The website developer has been the same since it has been created. And there is nothing you can really do about it. Now you can just click on whatever you want to change. And then you can move it around and then switch it up as you like, like so. So you can see you can mess up your general aesthetic 
by moving stuff around like so so it's easy to mess stuff up as well but that's just if you're being a bit childish usually you're not gonna mess stuff up like this now if you were to add a uh, section it's just as easy on google sites as it is on squarespace but google Sites sections do look dated and that's something i must tell you guys the website you create using google sites no matter how much you design it so we're gonna add names on this too and it still looks dated even if i change up the color change up the theme it's still gonna look a bit outdated so if we click on this if we make it outlined only we change the section background to a gray a green so i i don't get any option to change it to a color that i like and that is what i was speaking of at the start of the video that google sites really doesn't provide with enough customization and that's a large issue especially now when there are so many other free website developers that have a lot better to offer as compared to Google Sites. Now, if we take a look back at Squarespace, obviously Squarespace is a speciality website. What it does, it does well. So if I was to just publish this website as is, I would really have no issues whatsoever because the template itself is just so well designed everything is in place everything is in order there are pages that you can create so you have a my story page if you want to add more pages you can click on edit and now you're back in editing mode and you can add the header so you can customize everything you want you can change the color if i go into colors i can change it to any color of my own liking without having to worry about the available colors only and you can see all of these different options to customize the website to my own liking so i can change the theme the header the text the links the backgrounds the menu overlay i can change the announcement bars the galleries image and text sections line sections obviously the list section in the carousel the image carousel the blog alternating the portfolio so there is just so much you can do with a powerful tool like Squarespace and I'm going to publish both of these sites just so you can see what it would look like as a finished product. Now we go back into home. You can also design your website for the mobile view on Squarespace and you can see what your website is going to look like once someone via phone or um, via a tablet looks at your website, what they're going to see. So this is going to be their view and this is going to be a desktop view. Now over here, we, we can add more pages if we want. After that, you have your design, your commerce, marketing, scheduling. And scheduling allows you a lot more configuration and customization to your website as compared to any tools that are on google sites you can see the limited tools that you can add on google sites so in comparison it does seem a lot lackluster and the issue with the google sites uh, website builder that i have is that google sites is really outdated and there are a lot of free alternatives like godaddy like wordpress like um wix especially wix actually wix is free to use and it provides a far 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 better customer experience as compared to google sites now over here you can see the published google site how this looks it looks okay i'm not saying it looks terrible but this is the published squarespace site and it looks a lot better it's a lot more appealing it allows a lot more customization according to your own personal preferences and it's a lot more interactive so that is why i would say that Squarespace is just a clear winner but if you're concerned about money and you don't want to spend a lot of money in buying a Squarespace subscription well if we take a look at Wix over here you can see this is the Wix dashboard and Wix is actually free to use and this is a website I have created using Wix and this is basically just a Wix template and I just changed the name that's about it other than that, this is just a basic Wix template and you can see if we click on create new sites, Wix has a lot of templates. Obviously, it's not as 
broad as Squarespace, but still Wix is a great, great website builder. So let's say we're creating a blog and we're going to click on edit a template and you're going to see how Wix is just going to give you so many different templates to choose from. You have six pages worth of templates just on blogs. So that is just something you really can't compare to Google Sites. So you just really can't compare all these templates to Google Sites, which is only going to give you five or six templates. So that is why I would suggest that if you want to pay for a website developer, go for Squarespace. And if you're looking for something that is free to use, go for Wix. I would steer clear of Google Sites. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.